Alrighty guys, welcome to yet another episode of Cooking with the Hobo. I am Adam, your local hobo, and today we're going to make Bacon Explosion with a twist. Stay tuned. Alrighty, well here's the ingredients I got so far. Some bacon. Wouldn't be a bacon explosion without bacon. Some double cheese. Yeah, gotta sprinkle this shit onto her. Some ground beef. Normally bacon explosions are done with ground sausage. Couldn't find any. Said frigate, this will make it better. Probably not. Gonna also be using the Montreal Steak Spice for a dry rub and some no name freaking barbecue sauce for a wet rub. All right, let's get cracking. Our first step is to fry up some bacon. We know you love bacon. Yeah, you love bacon. You can smell it. You just can't get to it because you're little. We're gonna have to get that nice piping hot. Fry us up some bacon because we need some crisp. All right, first thing we're gonna need to do is chop up a couple slices of bacon to make it bacon bits. I wanted to buy bacon bits, but for Frank's sakes, they didn't have any. Also wanted to buy a sharper knife. For Frank's sakes, they didn't have any. This is the part of the show where I chop off a digit. Get her all minced up. Frig it. Into the pan it goes. I know people who could fall asleep to that sound, baby. Yeah, sizzling bacon. Makes the mouth water. While we're waiting on that bacon, we need to get more bacon ready here. We need a lot more bacon. We not need both packs, but basically we need to make a bacon weave. I've done one of these in the past at Blokes, and uh, you need the weave for this job. So we'll just take this bacon here, toss it off the side. I think I bought the extra slimy bacon. Pretty sure of that now that I think about it. Just lay your bacon out in lines. If you've ever watched Epic Meal Time and you've tried to make a bacon weave, let me tell you, it's not as hard as it looks. The hardest part is separating the bacon. Should have bought Snatters. Now we're doing a five by five bacon weave. So basically for this, I find the easiest way to do it is to start from the center. You know what, we might do a five by six bacon weave. Now we'll do a five by five. Unless we have six pieces of bacon in here. Okay, okay for the bacon weave, what you want to do is you want to start from the inside, fold it in. So you want to do two in and then leave three out. And grab yourself another strip of bacon, lay her down like so. Bring these two back over and bring these two in. Like a bouse. Oh, there is four pieces of bacon there, isn't there? We might do a five by six. Let me just uh, fix this up here. Okay, you can just hear that bacon sizzling in the background. Just fire this down here. Oh, that bacon looks pretty dicked. Whatever. That side of the weave is done. Separate these two bad boys. That should be underneath. Oh, I freaked up my own bacon weave. Son of a bitch. Stand by. Rental note, get less slimy bacon next time. But the slimier ones cook better. Okay, so we got this one here that's sitting on top. We're not gonna worry about it, it's gonna be our guideline. Now, this one here is underneath, so we might as well put this up, this up, this up. Lay down our slab like a bouse. Bring that over, bring that over. Over. Now you can do this any way you want. You don't have to use my technique. If you have a better way for doing bacon weaves, by all means, just give her. And lay down your slab. And people, we just wrecked a whole pack of bacon. All a shit. And there is. There is my bacon weave. Not the best looking weave in the world, but not exactly the worst. Alrighty, so now we need to put a layer of this ground beef over top of the bacon. Probably thinking to yourself, why? Well, because that's gonna be our inside. Now, if this was ground pork, it'd be better. Because with ground pork, you can actually do some cooler shit with it. But, uh, why well, got ground beef? So, and a true bacon explosion, I know people, is using ground pork. But instead, we're gonna use this ground beef that looks like earthworms get the same job done. 
but it doesn't matter. Try and get it all over the bacon weave. Not that it really matters, but like I said, try and get it all over the bacon weave. Then you want to season with whatever seasoning you have. Don't be stingy, just give her. Some people may want to mix this up in a bowl and um, throw some uh, freaking eggs into it to really get it sticky and all that shit. You can do whatever you want. It's all about cooking. Flatten her out. I don't think somebody's knocking at the door and there's nobody knocking at the door. It's just me pounding on the cupboard. Beauty, just gotta check on that bacon. Okay, so once you got your bacon all charred up and you can towel it off and stuff, get all the grease off it, just take it and crumple it and spread it all over your, your, your shit. Just, just just get it all everywhere, you know? It's all burnt bacon, it's gonna taste awesome. Frig it. Now you don't have to cook your bacon as long as I did. You can keep it soft, whatever. But you do wanna have it nice and spread it out. Should cook more bacon, whatever. Some people will actually cook bacon until it's soft, put it in the middle, and then give it from there. So it's really up to you what you wanna do. I'm just doing it this way. Now keep in mind, people, this is the first time I've done this recipe. It's not actually a recipe I got off the internet either, it's just something I'm trying. And I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I just figured, let's give her a go. Next up, you wanna get your barbecue sauce. Sprinkle a little bit of that on there. If you have a brush, you can brush it on. I'm gonna give this a better shake. Yeah, just get the barbecue sauce under it. Drizzle it on as thick as you want or as thin as you want. It's really up to you at this point. That's what's nice about cooking, people. Do it how you want. Get all the garbage out of the way. Next step, we need to preheat the oven. We need to preheat the oven in bake mode to 425 and go, you do. Let that preheat, need to get some cheese onto this son of a bitch. All right, so my cheese of choice here is this double cheddar shit. Should be pretty good. So this stuff's pre-shredded, so that's awesome. Let's just grab a bunch of it and throw her down. You know, you can add as much or as little cheese as you like, once again, you have to eat it, prepare it the way you want. By all means, people. So once you have all that shit onto her, this part is the hard part. Now you need to roll it up. So grab your ends. Oh God, this bacon's frail. Okay, this is not good. Yup, that was better. Now you roll her up. Oh, we lost a strip of bacon. And when you're done, that's basically what it looks like. A big freaking meatloaf bacon guy. So what you need to do now, transfer that to a cookie sheet. Once your oven's preheated, drill it in for about an hour. So we wait for that to cook. It's a good time to have a beer and have a chat. So just like to say, thank you guys. My last episode of Cooking with the Hobo hit a thousand views and I owe it to you guys for watching it. So I greatly appreciate that. Cheers. Alrighty people, the oven just went off towel out of there. Get hot. Let's drive this sexy bitch in. Whew, warm in there. All right, we let that cook for about an hour. And we'll come back and see what kind of a mess we got. Alrighty, well, it's already been 45 minutes. Look at that. Yum, yum, yummy. Just a big vat of bacon grease. Freaking greasy son of a bitch. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It smells good, eh, buddy? It smells good? Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, you know it. Alrighty guys, I got a little bit of the, uh, I kind of forgot I was filming, but I already pulled the uh, bacon explosion out. There she is, looking all bacony and exploded. So what I'm gonna do is cut me off a slice, and uh, also I should point out that I'm probably gonna need a new bacon grease jar, cause uh, this thing was full of bacon grease, and now it's all in there. That's just water, don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, filled her up pretty good with bacon grease. Just gonna let it cool down and uh, drill her back into the cupboard to be used again one day. I mean, to put more bacon grease into it and throw it out. Let's cut this thing in half. Oh, frig yeah, people, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. This is gonna be an epic meal tonight for sure. So I guess I'll sign off now and let you guys know that I made the bacon explosion. I've already had a piece of the end and it was pretty tasty. I forgot to film that too, because I mean, I'm fucking starved. Phone's going off like crazy, so I'm gonna shut her down here. So remember people, a clean kitchen's a fun kitchen and a dirty kitchen's a bitchy kitchen. Don't know what the fuck that means, just go with it. I'm Adam, your local hobo cook. And until next time guys, take care.